Gemini, welcome to your general reading. My name's Clive, you're watching Emery's Tarot. First off, I would like to wish everybody a very, very happy Christmas, okay? It's been a fantastic year for me, and I hope it's been a good year for you in general terms where there's been growth and general movement. And as I say, please take this how it resonates, leave the rest. The energies are very fluidic. Okay, if it doesn't resonate naturally, leave the rest. Here we go. What's going on for Gemini? You have the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh, your situation is changing. Now, whether this is you or somebody you're dealing with in your physical presence, family, or actually living with somebody, it's I'm going in the circumstances are about to change. You've got the five of swords here. You've got the page of wands. You've got the world card. Things coming to a conclusion. Taking responsibility. Mm. The hangman. The justice card. The sun card. Fantastic. Fantastic. Overall energy is the universe has been pushing you in a certain direction. There's been a lot of healing. There's a great opportunity here for you. That, well, one you feel is a great opportunity and you can't miss. What I'm getting on your side is that things are finally turning in your favour. You're getting your power back and you are thinking for yourself now. There is an opportunity here. It could be in work, but I'm getting relationships here more than anything. All right, you're pondering an idea. You're getting very, very creative. Okay, very, very creative. You're thinking of a way forward, especially in a relationship. You're kind of, in general sense, unsticking a situation. All right, you are willing to take responsibility for your own actions. There's a person here that you're dealing with has suspended the progression of a, a particular relationship, perhaps because of legal issues. Um, they've got a lot of responsibility and they're trying to deal with other things first. But there, there is a reluctance on their side of holding back and not, not wanting to follow through at this particular time. All right, because of responsibilities, which leads you to thinking about a way forward now there is this energy of trying to be fair to everybody i'm getting that if you are dealing with legal issues there is a decision coming your way which will give you the opportunity to break free from a situation but you won't have it all your own way i'm picking up here some kind of settlement perhaps in monetary, and this could even be dealing with an inheritance. But what I'm picking up is this freedom, you being able to bring conclusions to the past. You, you, There is a particular relationship connection here that has come full circle in itself, but because of the changes that's taken place recently in the last two or three years in tarot terms, which is recent, okay, uh, it's enabling you to approach this in a very, very different way. With this five of swords energy here, I'm kind of getting it was a a no contest. It was a pretty much, you know, I want it all my own way type energy. But there was a particular situation where you kind of looked through rose tinted glasses. You failed to see that you didn't look at this situation very realistically. Okay, I'm getting here, there was some talk, but it never took off because the consequences were just too great at that particular time. There is now an opportunity to travel. Now, some of you are perhaps dealing with a player type energy, okay, but you're trying to assess a way forward. I'm picking up an opportunity for you to travel, all right, temporarily or permanently. This is kind of a an impulsive decision, okay? But I don't mean you've just woke up and said, oh, I'll travel. This has been something that you've been pondering for a long, long while, but because of circumstances and people around you, you haven't been able to. What I'm getting here is there's been a separation, okay? And that's it. That's kind of literally freed you off. You've got the Ten of Cups on top of the Wheel of Fortune. Mm. 
you're coming into kind of a new romantic cycle where you feel very differently about a lot of people around you okay and what i'm getting is here for one or two of you there is a, a straight choice between love and work and i'll be honest this could go either way it depends on your particular situation but for those of you that are contemplating career over loved ones uh, and spending time away from loved ones and traveling i'm kind of getting perhaps you're willing to give it a go but you are coming to that kind of well these two tens here this this change in circumstances and change in your love life actually bring you to this all right and also to a judgment card which enables you to make clear decisions all right and whether this is resurrecting a relationship um, with the judgment card i'm kind of getting that you you're in the you're in a position now to actually make solid plans and it's all coming together all right whereas it's just been in the thought process it's now becoming very very real all right you certainly want to free yourself from a particular situation all right before you because you want to go forward with a clear energy that's what i'm getting i'm getting this big humongous message now decluttering your energies releasing the past energies it's a, f a complete fresh start for you okay there's possibly messages coming in from the past all right again it puts you in the position of giving it some thought i'm in no rush so you're perhaps dealing with a player type energy maybe they're married okay they have responsibilities all right with this with this justice card on their side karma has been at play okay there will be somebody who's realized that the consequences of their actions have not exactly played out right and despite their holding back i'm kind of getting they that's their way of trying to get control of the situation so it's, it's kind of produced this stuck situation but the energy you're coming full circle energy Some of you do feel you you are taking a rather big chance on this. I'm kind of getting. It's a question of when or whether you want to give up your fairly stable situation to take a chance on this because it is a bit unknown. But there is a lot with this sun card here. I'm kind of getting that energy is killing out any negative, pessimistic energy. There is a bit of a fear here of commitment. All right. There's this energy around you at this particular moment, especially in relationships, you're kind of not really sure what it is you actually want. You know, to, to achieve, there's, a, there's an energy here to achieve the ambitions you want, but you've got to know what it is you want to achieve it, so to speak. It's kind of like, yeah, I want this person in my life, but I'm not sure how long I can keep it going. Hmm. Bit of introspection here. There is a bit of fear here as well. Mm. Six of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, it's it's a question of are you two willing to get together to talk to to assess a way forward? But I'm I'm getting communication coming in, and conversations taking place between you two to see if you well the chance to see if you can assess a way forward with this you know given the logistics for some of you perhaps you're dealing with a long distance relationship or you're working away from family and it, it's it's kind of working a way forward mm. queen of wands on top of the hangman yeah taking a chance confidence is the key pride could also be a factor in this there's somebody are very attracted to you for sure they're very they're, they want loyalty between you and them okay now whether you're in a position to give that loyalty it's... 
there is over over soul there is this energy yeah the star card am i making the right decision well that's a yes to you know the universe wants you to go in a certain way it, it is up to you to decide okay you, you're going for a lottery now i'm kind of getting your the, the energy around you strongest is you trying to be fair to everybody but nonetheless a decision is made and it's kind of this energy of whether you're willing to follow through on this or not temperance card a mm. lot more peace and harmony but it's a question of do you want to mm. they possibly want you to move in with them certainly want to look after you but I'm kind of getting generally there is this consensus of this this complacency you see in your present situation let's get the overall energy of this reading let's get the overall energy of this reading yeah three of cups yeah it's knowing what you want you've got the answers within yourself you only have to work them out okay you only have to do a bit of self-introspection and you can get the answer you can answer most of your questions but i am picking up a reunion here a happier times growing confidence over the next few months uh few weeks few months and making plans either way gemini 2024 looks to be a year for you of movement in general thanks very much for watching